Welcome to Mornings with Mark. The passage that I'm meditating on today is Luke chapter 1, verses 46 through 55, the Magnificat, one of the most precious, powerful, poetic passages. How about that for all those Ps uh, in the whole of Scripture and in all the world? And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. According to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. It's remarkable to think that this is God's promise. That there will be justice, equity here on earth. That there will not be the haves and the have-nots. That those who uh, hold on to power will find they cannot do so. And those who are not given opportunity will find that they are given opportunity. I can't help but think, as I've been meditating on this today, of how consistently, how often in history, and even today, women are not given opportunities that men are not given opportunities to preach or to offer leadership or to teach. And yet here we have Mary, who offers this powerful, poetic piece of scripture that continues to preach to us, teach us today. It's amazing how God has worked through the eons, through women in such powerful ways, and through People who are marginalized, people like Moses who's off in the wilderness, David, the son who's so small and isn't even thought of to be brought before the prophet might become the king of Israel. You know, how often do we just discount people and miss out on the blessing for us? Were we to include them? Were we to support them? Were we to help them? And the promise of God is that God will be faithful to everyone. That actually we would be far better off working for equity, working for justice, working to invite everybody to the table now. Because the day's going to come when God's going to turn the tables. And if we're not a part of that welcoming committee, we may find ourselves among the powerful and the rich and the well-fed who are on the other side of the equation. In any case, as I've meditated on this, I've heard God telling me to invite people, especially those who haven't been given opportunity, invite people to the table and see what God will do for them, for us, as we work together listen to one another and to God together and serve the common good together. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you for this day you've made. We rejoice and are glad in it. Thank you for calling this lowly young woman to an immensely world-changing role in your providence. Continue, O oh God, to call people. Continue to call us to your good purpose. And like Mary, may we believe in the word you speak, the promise you give, and be a part of your good purposes being fulfilled for the sake of all in our world. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.